Our verse today is Joel chapter 3 verse 14 or chapter 4 verse 14. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Yesterday in our reflection, Joel prophesied against the destruction of the kingdom of Judah. In chapter 3, he assures Judah of divine judgment against her enemies and a glorious future like we see in the other prophetic books. If you read Isaiah 66 from 10 to 14 and Hosea chapter 14 from 4 to 9. To understand this verse, let us take a look at the earlier verses of this chapter. God says he will restore the fortunes of Judah and Jerusalem and gather all the nations in the valley of Jehoshaphat. The name Jehoshaphat means the Lord has judged. Jehoshaphat did fight a battle against the Moabites and Ammonites in the valley of Berakah and was triumphant if you read 2 Chronicles chapter 20, 20 to 31. We are not sure if Joel is referring to the same valley where Jehoshaphat had his victory. But there are different conjectures among scholars concerning this valley. However, the same valley of Jehoshaphat is called the valley of decision in our verse. If you read Joy chapter 3 verse 2 and verse 12. God will gather together those nations against Judah at the valley of decision for their crimes against her. The evil of the nations against Judah includes taking them into exile, selling the young people as sex objects, and taking their silver and gold for their temples. These were what the Babylonians did to the kingdom of Judah when they destroyed Jerusalem and the temple. God will now sit in judgment against those nations surrounding Judah, for the harvest is ripe. In our verse, the multitudes refer to these surrounding nations in the valley of decision, where God will pronounce his judgment against them. Joy says, the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Like we saw yesterday, the nearness of the day of the Lord means that God's judgment will soon come and it is fast approaching, in this case, against these nations that have ravaged his people. Looking at the world today, one thinks about foreign interference by so-called superpowers in the affairs of weaker or less developed nations. A case in point for me, which is debatable, is the idea of these big countries that they must entrench or force democracy down the throat of every country. Yes, democracy is good, but it must be homegrown and adapted to local conditions. Another reason God will judge the nations is the sex trade, which is not uncommon today. My heart goes to the many young people who travel through the Mediterranean Sea in search of a better life and many of them end up as sex workers on the other side of the shore. Let God arise today and sit in judgment against these individuals and people perpetrating these evils and atrocities against poor people and against poorer nations for their own advantage. Lord, bring to justice those who sit on the progress of your children for their advantage. Amen. God bless you and I wish you a wonderful day.